Welcome to English Made Easy. Learn through stories. In today's English lesson, we will start with an English story and then explain a few words and phrases from the story to help improve your vocabulary. Let's get started. The Magic Grove Chapter 1 The Enchanted Grove's Secret Ella's mother, Clara, loved her husband very much. One day, he became very sick. Clara was very sad and worried. She heard about a special flower that could make him better. This flower grew in a magic grove. Clara decided to go there. The magic grove was very beautiful. It had many colorful flowers and tall trees. Clara found the special flower quickly. She picked it up and smiled. But then she heard a voice. Stop. What are you doing? said Serafina, the guardian of the grove. Serafina was a magical spirit with long, shiny hair and bright eyes. Clara was scared. I am sorry, she said. My husband is very sick. I needed this flower to help him. Serafina frowned. You cannot take flowers from my grove, she said. There is a price to pay. Clara felt very afraid. What do you want from me? she asked. Serafina thought for a moment. You have a baby girl, don't you? she asked. Clara nodded. Yes, I do. Her name is Ella. Serafina spoke in a serious voice. I will give you two choices. First, I can put a curse on your baby girl. She will always be unlucky. She will never be happy. Clara's heart broke. No, please, she cried. What is the second choice? Serafina's eyes softened a little. When your girl turns ten years old, she will come live with me in the grove. She will be my helper. I promise she will be happy. Clara felt very sad, but she loved her husband and her daughter very much. She thought hard. Finally, she made a decision. I choose the second option, Clara said with tears in her eyes. When Ella turns ten, she will come to you. Serafina nodded. Very well, she said. Take the flower and save your husband. But remember, when Ella is ten, she must come to me. Clara took the flower and ran home. She made medicine with the flower and gave it to her husband. He became well again. Clara was happy, but she never forgot her promise to Serafina. Years passed, and Ella grew into a happy little girl. She loved playing with her friends and helping her mother. But as her tenth birthday came closer, Clara felt more and more sad. On Ella's tenth birthday, Clara hugged her daughter tight. Ella, my dear, she said with tears in her eyes, you are a special girl. Today, you will go to live with Serafina in the Magic Grove. Ella was confused and scared. Why, Mama? I don't want to go, she cried. Clara kissed Ella's forehead. It is for your own good, my love, she said softly. Be brave. Serafina will take care of you. Just then, Serafina appeared. She looked at Ella and smiled kindly. Come with me, Ella, she said. I will teach you many wonderful things. Ella hugged her mother one last time. I will miss you, Mama, she whispered. Clara held back her tears. I will miss you too, my dear, but I know you will be happy. Ella took Serafina's hand. Together, they walked into the magic grove. Ella looked back at her mother and waved. Clara waved back, her heart heavy but hopeful. Ella and Serafina disappeared into the trees. Clara stood alone, knowing she had done the best for her family. She whispered, Be safe, my dear Ella. And so... Ella's new life in the Enchanted Grove began. Chapter 2. Life in the Grove The grove was very beautiful. There were many flowers and trees. The air smelled sweet, like honey. Serafina smiled at Ella. Welcome to your new home, she said. Ella looked around. She felt a little scared but also curious. It is very pretty here, she said softly. Serafina took Ella's hand. Come, I will show you your room, she said. They walked to a small house made of wood and flowers. Inside, it was warm and cozy. 
Ella saw a bed with soft blankets, a table, and a chair. There were also many books. This is your room, Serafina said. You can rest here and read books. Ella sat on the bed. It was very soft. She smiled a little. Thank you, Serafina, she said. Serafina nodded. Now let me show you the rest of the grove, she said. They walked outside again. Serafina showed Ella many things. She showed her the garden with many colorful flowers. She showed her a big tree with golden leaves. She showed her a pond with clear water and fish. Every day we will take care of the garden, Serafina said. We will water the flowers and pick the weeds. Ella listened carefully. I can help, she said. I like flowers. Serafina smiled. I am glad, she said. You will also learn about the magic of the grove. I will teach you how to use it. Ella felt excited. Magic, really? she asked. Yes, Serafina said. The grove has a special magic. It helps plants grow and keeps everything beautiful. Ella nodded. I want to learn, she said. Days passed, and Ella learned many things. She learned how to water the flowers and take care of the garden. She learned the names of the plants and trees. She learned about the magic of the grove. One day, Serafina showed Ella how to use the magic. Put your hand on this flower, she said. Think about it growing strong and tall. Ella did as Serafina said. She put her hand on a small flower and thought about it growing. Slowly, the flower grew bigger and brighter. Ella's eyes opened wide with wonder. Wow, she said. It worked. Serafina smiled. Yes, you did very well, she said. You have a special gift, Ella. Ella felt happy and proud. Thank you, Serafina, she said. Every day, Ella worked in the grove. She took care of the flowers and trees. She practiced using the magic. She also read books in her cozy room. Serafina was always there to help her and teach her. Ella missed her mother, but she started to feel at home in the grove. She liked learning new things and helping Serafina. She liked the peaceful and beautiful grove. Chapter 3. An Intruder in the Grove One day, Ella was watering the flowers in the garden. She was humming a happy tune. The sun was shining, and everything looked beautiful. Suddenly, she heard a noise. It was coming from the edge of the grove. Ella felt a little scared. Who is there? she called out. A young man stepped out from behind a tree. He had messy brown hair and bright green eyes. He looked surprised to see Ella. Hello, he said. My name is Finn. Who are you? Ella stared at him. I am Ella, she said. Why are you here? Finn smiled. I was looking for the magic grove, he said. I heard stories about it. I wanted to find it and become a hero. Ella was confused. A hero? Why do you want to be a hero? She asked. Finn sat down on a rock. Every person wants to be a hero at least once, he said. I thought if I found the magic grove, I could help people and be a hero. Ella thought about this. But the grove is a secret place, she said. Only Serafina and I live here. Finn looked sad. I didn't mean to cause trouble, he said. I just wanted to do something special. Ella felt sorry for him. It's okay, she said. But you should not be here. Serafina will be angry. Just then, Serafina appeared. She looked very upset. Who is this? she asked. Why is he here? Ella quickly explained. This is Finn, she said. He wanted to find the grove and be a hero. Serafina frowned. The grove is not a place for heroes, she said. It is a place of peace and magic. Finn stood up. I am sorry, he said. I didn't mean to make you angry. I just wanted to help. Serafina sighed. You must leave, she said. This place is not for you. Finn looked at Ella. Can I come back and visit? He asked. I would like to talk more. Ella felt unsure. I don't know, she said. Maybe. 
Serafina shook her head. No, you cannot come back, she said firmly. You must go now. Finn nodded sadly. Okay, I will go, he said. Goodbye, Ella. Ella watched as Finn walked away. She felt a little sad. Goodbye, Finn, she said softly. Serafina turned to Ella. Are you okay? she asked. Ella nodded. Yes, I am okay, she said. But why can't Finn visit? Serafina looked serious. The grove is a special place, she said. It is our home. We must keep it safe. Ella understood, but she still felt a little sad. She wondered if she would ever see Finn again. That night, as Ella lay in bed, she thought about Finn. She hoped he was safe. She also hoped that maybe, one day, he could visit the grove again. Chapter 4 Serafina's Wrath The next morning, Ella woke up early. She had many things to do in the garden. As she was watering the flowers, she thought about Finn. She wondered where he was and what he was doing. Suddenly, Serafina came to the garden. She looked very serious. Ella, we need to talk, she said. Ella felt nervous. What is wrong, Serafina? she asked. Serafina held up a rope. I found this rope near the edge of the grove, she said. Did Finn leave this here? Ella looked at the rope. Yes, I think so, she said. He wanted to use it to find his way back. Serafina frowned. Did you tell him he could come back? she asked. Ella shook her head. No, I told him you would be angry, she said. But he asked if he could visit. Serafina's eyes flashed with anger. The grove is not a place for visitors, she said. It is our home. We must keep it safe. Ella felt scared. I'm sorry, Serafina, she said. I did not mean to make you angry. Serafina took a deep breath. I love you like a daughter, Ella, she said. But you must understand, the grove is special. We cannot let strangers in. Ella felt tears in her eyes. I understand, she said. I will be careful. Serafina nodded. Good, she said. Now, let us go back to work. They worked in the garden all day, but Ella could not stop thinking about Finn. She hoped he was okay. That evening, Serafina called Ella to the pond. Come sit with me, she said. Ella sat next to Serafina. The pond was calm and beautiful, but Ella felt worried. Tell me about Finn, Serafina said. Why did he come here? Ella thought for a moment. He wanted to be a hero, she said. He thought the grove was special and wanted to help. Serafina sighed. Many people want to be heroes, she said, but they do not understand the true magic of the grove. Ella looked at Serafina. What is true magic? she asked. Serafina smiled gently. The true magic is in the peace and beauty of the grove, she said. It is in the way we care for the plants and animals. It is in our hearts. Ella felt a warm feeling in her heart. I understand, she said. I will help keep the grove safe. Serafina hugged Ella. Thank you, she said. You are a good girl. Ella knew she had to keep the grove safe, but she also hoped she could see Finn again one day. She dreamed of a world where everyone could understand the true magic of the grove. Chapter 5. Finn's Dilemma One day, Ella was picking flowers in the garden. She heard a noise coming from the edge of the grove. Ella felt her heart beat faster. Who is there? she called out. Finn stumbled out from behind a tree. He looked very tired and confused. His eyes seemed empty. Ella ran to him. Finn! What happened to you? she asked. Finn looked at Ella but did not seem to recognize her. Who are you? he asked. Where am I? Ella felt very worried. I am Ella. You are in the magic grove, she said. Do you remember me? Finn shook his head. I do not remember anything, he said. I feel lost. Ella held his hand. Come with me, she said. I will help you. 
she took Finn to her small house in the grove. She gave him some water and made him sit down. Serafina soon came in and saw Finn. She looked very serious. Why is he here again? Serafina asked. Ella explained quickly. He does not remember anything, she said. He is lost and confused. Serafina frowned. I put a curse on him to keep him away, she said. But now he is here again. Ella felt very sad. We must help him, she said. Please, Serafina. Serafina thought for a moment. Very well, she said. We will help him, but he cannot stay long. Ella nodded. Thank you, she said. For the next few days, Ella took care of Finn. She gave him food and water. She talked to him and told him about the grove. Slowly, Finn began to remember little things. One morning, Finn looked at Ella with clearer eyes. I remember you, he said. You are Ella. You helped me. Ella smiled. Yes, I am Ella, she said. I am glad you remember. Finn looked around. This place is very special, he said. I am sorry for causing trouble. Ella shook her head. It is okay, she said. You were trying to help. Serafina watched them from a distance. She saw how much Ella cared for Finn. She sighed and walked over to them. Finn, you must leave the grove soon, Serafina said, but we will help you get better first. Finn nodded. Thank you, Serafina, he said. I understand. Ella felt both happy and sad. She was happy Finn was getting better, but sad he had to leave. She knew it was for the best. That night, as they sat by the pond, Ella and Finn talked about many things. Finn told stories of his adventures. Ella told him about the magic of the grove. I wish I could stay, Finn said softly. But I know I must go. Ella held his hand. You will always be my friend, she said. Maybe one day we will meet again. Finn smiled. I hope so, he said. The next day, Finn was ready to leave. Ella and Serafina walked with him to the edge of the grove. Finn turned to them and bowed. Thank you for everything, he said. I will never forget you. Ella hugged him. Goodbye, Finn, she said. Be safe. Finn waved and walked away. Ella watched until he disappeared. Ella looked around the beautiful grove and felt grateful. She knew she had a special place in the world, and she would always keep it safe. Chapter 6 Journey of Rediscovery Days passed, and Ella missed Finn. She hoped he was safe. She worked in the garden and took care of the flowers. She tried to keep busy, but she often thought about her friend. One day, Serafina came to Ella. Ella, we have work to do, she said. Ella looked up. What work, Serafina? she asked. Serafina smiled. We need to collect special herbs from the forest, she said. These herbs can help people remember things. Ella felt excited. Can we help Finn with these herbs? she asked. Serafina nodded. Yes, we can, she said. Let's go. Ella and Serafina walked into the forest. They looked for special herbs. The forest was dark and quiet, but they were not afraid. They found the herbs near a small stream. These are the herbs we need, Serafina said. Pick them carefully. Ella picked the herbs and put them in a basket. She felt hopeful. I hope these can help Finn, Serafina she said. Serafina smiled. They will, she said. We will make medicine for him. They went back to the grove and made the medicine. Serafina showed Ella how to grind the herbs and mix them with water. They worked together and made a small bottle of green liquid. This is the memory medicine, Serafina said. It will help Finn remember everything. Ella felt happy. Can we take it to him? She asked. Serafina nodded. Yes, we will go to his village, she said. The next morning, Ella and Serafina set off to find Finn. 
They walked through the forest and followed the path to Finn's village. It was a long walk, but Ella was determined. When they reached the village, they asked the people about Finn. A kind woman showed them to a small house. Finn was sitting outside, looking at the sky. Finn! Ella called out. Finn turned and saw Ella. His face lit up with joy. Ella, you came back, he said. Ella ran to him and hugged him. I missed you, she said. We brought something to help you. Serafina stepped forward and handed Finn the bottle of green liquid. Drink this, she said. It will help you remember. Finn took the bottle and drank the medicine. He closed his eyes for a moment. When he opened them, he smiled. I remember everything, Finn said. Ella felt tears of happiness. I am so glad, she said. We can be friends again. Finn nodded. Yes, we can, he said. Thank you, Serafina. Serafina smiled. You are welcome, Finn, she said. Take care of yourself. Ella and Finn spent the day together. They talked and laughed. Ella felt very happy. She knew that true friends always find a way back to each other. As the sun set, Ella and Serafina said goodbye to Finn. We must go back to the grove, Serafina said. Finn hugged Ella. Thank you for everything, he said. I will never forget you. Ella hugged him back. Goodbye, Finn, she said. Be safe. Chapter 7 Heroes in Harmony A few days gone, Ella woke up feeling very happy. Ella felt grateful for everything she had learned. Serafina came to the garden. She smiled at Ella. Good morning, Ella, she said. How are you today? Ella smiled back. Good morning, Serafina, she said. I am very happy. I love taking care of the grove. Serafina nodded. You have done very well, Ella, she said. You have learned the true magic of the grove. Ella felt proud. Thank you, Serafina, she said. Just then, they heard a voice. Hello, Ella. Hello, Serafina. It was Finn. He was standing at the edge of the grove. Ella ran to him. Finn, you came back, she said. She was very happy to see him. Finn smiled. Yes, I wanted to see you again, he said. Serafina walked over to them. Finn, it is good to see you, she said. How can we help you today? Finn looked at Ella and Serafina. I want to be a true hero, he said. I want to help you take care of the grove and the village. Ella felt excited. That is a great idea, she said. We can work together. Serafina nodded. Yes, we can work together, she said. There are many ways to be a hero. From that day on, Finn visited the grove often. He helped Ella and Serafina with the garden. He learned about the magic of the grove. He also helped take care of the village garden. One day, Finn and Ella were working in the grove. Finn looked at Ella. Ella, you are a true friend, he said. You have taught me so much. Ella smiled. You are my friend too, Finn, she said. We are heroes together. Serafina watched them and felt proud. You both have learned the true meaning of magic and friendship, she said. You have shown that heroes can help each other. As the sun set, they sat by the pond. The water sparkled in the light. Ella looked at Finn and Serafina. She felt a warm feeling in her heart. Thank you, Serafina, Ella said. You have taught us so much. Serafina smiled. You are welcome, Ella, she said. You have done very well. Finn nodded. Yes, thank you, Serafina, he said. I am happy to be part of this. Ella and Finn knew they had found a true home in the grove. They knew they would always be friends and heroes together. They felt grateful for the magic of the grove and the love they shared. Ella felt very happy and hopeful for the future. She knew that as long as they were together, they could do anything. They were true friends and heroes in harmony. And they all lived happily ever after. The End
The story is aligned with the A1 level of the Common European Framework of Reference for Languages, CEFR, which is the beginner level. Here are five words phrases from the story along with their meanings, examples from the story, and examples from real life. 1. Enchanted. Meaning. Magical or charmed. Example from the story. Ella walked into the magic grove with Serafina. The grove was very beautiful. There were many flowers and trees. The air smelled sweet, like honey. The grove is described as a magical, enchanted place where special things happen. Real-life example. A forest filled with sparkling lights and mysterious sounds can feel enchanted. 2. Grove. Meaning, a small group of trees. Example from the story. Ella walked into the magic grove with Serafina. The grove was very beautiful. There were many flowers and trees. The magic grove is a small, beautiful forest where Ella lives with Serafina. Real-life example. You might find a peaceful grove in a park where you can sit and read a book under the trees. 3. Hero. Meaning, a person who is admired for their courage or noble qualities. Example from the story. Finn smiled. Yes, I wanted to see you again, he said. And I have good news. The village garden is growing well. The people are very happy. Finn becomes a hero by helping the village and taking care of the garden. Real-life example. A firefighter who saves people from a burning building is a hero. 4. Magic. Meaning, the use of special powers to make things happen that seem impossible. Example from the story. Serafina smiled. Yes, you did very well, she said. You have a special gift, Ella. Ella uses magic to help plants grow and to help Finn remember. Real-life example. In a fantasy book, a wizard might use magic to cast spells and perform extraordinary feats. 5. Guardian. Meaning, someone who protects or takes care of something or someone. Example from the story. Serafina, the guardian of the grove, catches her and gives an ultimatum. Curse the child or take her on her tenth birthday. Serafina is the guardian who protects the enchanted grove. Real-life example. A parent or guardian takes care of and protects a child, ensuring their safety and well-being. Here are three things the reader can learn from the story. 1. The value of friendship. 2. The importance of caring for nature. 3. Being a hero comes in many forms. This story and voiceover have been provided by English Made Easy. Learn through stories. Copying or re-uploading is strictly prohibited.